first step in installing the pole jack system is installing the brace. The brace has pivoting attachment feet and may be fastened to the vertical wall or to the roof. To fasten to the roof, lift the tab of the shingle up and screw or nail the pivoting foot to the roof. Make sure the pole jack and the pole are kept away from dirt and gravel as the pole jack has lubricated moving parts which will not function well if dirt gets in the mechanism. Move the direction lever to the up position and install the jack on the pole. Once resistance is felt, operate the jacking lever and the jack will climb the pole. Move the pole with the installed pole jack into place and tilt it to the vertical position. one operator holds the pole in position, the second operator climbs the ladder and locks the brace around the pole by installing the pole in the brace and inserting the locking pin through a climbing hole and putting the keeper on the pin. level is used to ensure the pole is absolutely vertical. In soft terrain, a pole base anchor is recommended. Locate the correct position for the anchor and position it and lift the pole on it. Measure the approximate spacing for the next pole. If, for example, the platform is 24 feet in length, the poles should be about 20 feet apart. Before installing the second pole, temporarily set the platform on the installed jack. Install the second brace, pole, and jack.
install the platform on the second jack and secure the platform to the jack with a short cord. There should be slack in the rope to account for the tilting of the platform. Install the workbench brackets on the back of the jack by inserting the pins through the bracket and installing the keepers. The floor panels, which are 8 foot pieces of half inch plywood, are laid inside the platform. The panels are overlapped but are not fastened down. Install the ladder on the workbench brackets by tying with a short cord. Install the back rail tarp by attaching the bungee cords around the vertical rungs of the platform and around the side rails of the ladder. The bungee cord is designed to pass through the grommets and then tie back onto itself. Place the end barriers on the platform by installing the posts in the last vertical rung of the platform. 
the system is now completely installed. To lift the platform, put the direction lever in the up direction and operate the lever. For lowering the platform, place the direction knob in the down direction and depress the emergency stop button on top of the jack and hold it open while operating the lever. back rail system with a top rail and a mid rail is an option. To install this system, insert the back rail posts in the vertical rungs. The back rail sections are notched to interconnect. 